Hi guys, I'm uh, Michal, uh, the author of P2P2. Uh, I know P2P2 is in a very early stage, um, so bugs are expected and so on, but I just wanted to show you roughly how uh, to use actually P2P2. Um, so we have here maps and spaces. Maps are, you know, the, the maps you use and then uh, you create the space out of the map uh, where you can meet with uh, people. So it's like uh, chat rooms, let's call it. It's like uh, you can have uh, two spaces on the same map, uh, but uh, each space will have, you know, uh, its own link. And if you join this space, you don't see people from other spaces. That's that's the idea. So uh, right now, in order to start, let's say you want to create your own office you would have to go to map I have my office here already uh, done it's like this example office uh, you can probably somewhere find the link to this space on this map but uh, let's say you wanna have your own map right so um, office new I don't know office 2 maybe <laughs> Yeah, and you start with nothing, a blank page. <clears throat> In order to start, you have to uh, create some tiles. And uh, right now, by default, it's very simple. Like, there's just a floor carpet type. Uh, but in the future, you might have more, uh, like, floor kind of floors. Uh, but let's say you, we want to have, uh, we want to create two rooms in our space. Uh, and each room will be four by four, for example, right? So I would create a rough uh, idea of the room. Then <clears throat> we need uh, to put walls around. Um, you see, I, I started sketching walls here. Uh, oh, no, uh, this is a floor. So the idea is that um, you are um, like telling for each tile you have to tell uh, the map builder uh, what's the connection to the other tile if it's wall you will not be able to walk through it um yeah let me just uh, do it quickly and then i would go to another subject um yeah so it takes a while it's not um, you know, the ideal user interface, <laughs> but um, it's, it's something. I'm gonna improve it later on. Since uh, I'm gonna build some, um, you know, some more maps uh, uh, just for myself, I don't wanna <laughs> spend too much time building. Uh, them in an annoying way, right? So yeah, we have one room here, but my idea was that uh, let's let's have two rooms. Um, so I would put I will put a wall here with a, a blank space here. So I have to put a wall right like this, uh, so that you cannot go from here to here. But in you need to know that uh, the way this work is that. Uh, if there if there is no wall for this tile, the user right now will be able to go through this tile to here because there is no wall on this tile. So you need to put a wall here as well. <coughs> uh, so yeah, so there is no walking through the walls. Um, and here there is one more thing you you might uh, know about that uh, in these places maybe sometimes you want to put a, a like a small wall here on the corner you can do it like this uh, so I'm, I'm putting you see uh, like a, so it doesn't look it looks better especially in I don't know when you have a corner but you will see yourself so what I'm gonna want to have uh, is that, yeah, um, let's say I want to have um, two desks here and um, yeah, this is the good. Uh, mm, yeah, maybe let's have a desk here. 
how to do it you need to put an item uh, by default you, it's a chair but we need a desk so here you can select uh, you know the items and you can add multiple items on the same tile and they will be stacked one on the other but uh, right now at this stage there is not that that much support like there is not that many items in order to put stuff on top of each other it's one item on the tile is enough uh, yeah so it's a desk but this is like it's facing up there and I want to have a chair here and a desk here so I need to rotate it 90 degrees here so that yeah the keyboard is here now I put a chair here and I will also rotate it 90 degrees to the right uh, I want to have a desk here as well Ah, add item desk let's rotate it uh, 270 degrees let's put uh, a chair also uh, 270 um, yeah let's have a desk here as well why not uh, it's gonna be rotated 90 degrees one more desk um, 270 a chair 270 another chair uh, 90 uh, yeah I don't know maybe I want to have uh, two shelves here um, so that it looks better um, yeah there there are some assets that I'm still working on like TV <laughs> it's a uh, hand drawn I actually uh, I started uh, hand drawing everything and then I started working on better assets yeah but we want to have a shelf and it has to be 270 and one more shelf here as well oh, oh no maybe let's put a whiteboard um 270 as well yeah and i, I want our users when they log in uh, they will start in one place uh, let's let's uh, put them i don't know here so I can set this tile as a start tile and the users will like start here. Uh, let's not waste time on uh, building this room. Um, but there is one more thing you want to know about is that you don't want your users to walk on the tables, right? Uh, so <clears throat> you need to pull, put so-called invisible walls on tables. So I don't want a user to go from here to here. So I will put an invisible wall here. Ah, no, remove tile. Um, so on the bottom, it should be an invisible wall. Right now it's really invisible in editor. So it's very annoying. I will put something here so that you can see, uh, you know, this invisible wall. Um, but this is basically uh, like restraining users from going from here to here and I need to repeat it for this tile and this tile on the left this tile on the right and the same here on the, le on the left top uh, top and here the right yeah I put some glass wall it's there are no asses for it ah yeah but uh, maybe when you will be watching this video, there will be already much more assets and, uh, and maybe you will <coughs> figure it out <laughs> by yourself. All this stuff works. Yeah, so my thing, I let me check. Yeah, you can change the name here. You can delete this map entirely. Uh, let's not do this right now. Uh, yeah, there is the start tile. This, this is something you, you have an idea now. What's that? Here you can add items. Uh, yeah, you can remove items as well, right? So don't, no worries. And you can remove entire tile, but let's put it back. Uh, do we have our star tile? Yeah, we have. So once the map is ready, you just go back. It's automatically saved. Uh, reload the page. You will see there is this office too. Uh, and let's create a space. I have already one space. Let's create another one, office two. Select the new map create the space and enter the space um, yeah let's uh, let's enter our new space and here we are in our new office 
Uh, I'm not able to walk uh, on the table. That's good, right? And you are not able to walk through the walls. Uh, and we started here, like, like we selected. Uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's basically how this works. Oh, by the way, why you don't see me here? I have no idea. Ah, I know, because you now see me here. <laughs> okay, cool. That's interesting. Um, yeah, let's... Uh, okay, so on the uh, address bar uh, in your browser, you will see the URL. And uh, this is like a p2p2.chat slash spaces slash and there is the ID of your space. Um, and this is uh, something you have to share with your friends. Uh, so, yeah, like um, you can copy link address here probably as well. Um, but this is, yeah, the link here will be the link to your space. Um, yeah, well, oh man, oh, that's uh, interesting. You don't uh, see me here. Ah, no worries. Yeah, so. That's uh, that's basic features here. Uh, I will be putting more updates probably on this page uh, about the changes I recently did. Uh, but I don't. I will try. You know. Uh, I hope. No, no, no. I promise you, I will not uh, delete your maps. So I will keep everything backwards compatible. No, no worries. Uh, have a nice day. See you.